Hi vlog, welcome back. I'm just popping on here before I share the vlog. I just wanted to say hi. This weekend Tommy put together this special little birthday weekend and it was just so generous and thoughtful and him and I obviously travel a ton together throughout the year but it's never really like that. It's never like activities and hanging out and just literally sitting on the beach and kind of doing nothing. Birthdays for me, I don't know about you guys, but birthdays to me are a little bit more of a reset than New Year's. And I was just thinking a lot on my birthday, maybe because I feel like 26 is like an age that I feel like I'm getting older. Like this year I really was like, wow, 26, you know? And I was a little bit emotional and I wasn't emotional in a way that was like a bad sad um but i was just feeling a little bit emotional on my birthday um like on my actual birthday and then i very easily sort of snapped out of it because we went on the trip and um kind of celebrated my birthday more on saturday we had a whole boat day but yeah i was a little bit emotional for so many reasons but i think foremost just like the person that i've become my 20s were pretty gnarly, honestly. Like, so many amazing moments in my 20s, but so many just really horrible, hard moments in my 20s. And, and the coolest, craziest thing about it all is that every single thing that I've been through um, and every single experience and situation that I've been put through has led me to where I am today. But with that being said, I also kind of in my mid 20s realized that the work that I put into my work into my content into like who I am um, is part of the reason why I've evolved into who I am today and I just was feeling a little bit like overwhelmed and sad and happy and yeah it was kind of weird honestly not like it was weird because it was bad more weird because i find myself staying so busy um that i don't often think about that it was kind of cool there's a weird part that not many people talk about that has to do with growing up documenting your life being widely known but then not really known personally like really personally what i've shared versus what i haven't shared and i want people to be so close to me and know me so well but then there's a level of privacy that i have to maintain to you know be normal you know like what this job has afforded me is wild in my 20s i've been able to create a brand a community i've been able to financially support myself i've been able to travel i've been able to get a house i've been able to you know own cars and just the life that this job has given me and the community is pretty remarkable but i think with anything really amazing comes sacrifice things that are really difficult i struggle sometimes especially getting older i go back and forth a lot on like what i should share and how open i should be honestly the older i get the more i feel this desire to become more private and that's a weird feeling when you've shared your whole life online since you were were like 19 20. yeah i think these are all normal feelings or not normal because it's not that normal to share your life online but you know these are things that I was thinking about the other day and things that I, the older I get, the more I think about. Um, and another part of this, I think, feeling that I have also has to do with the fact that, you know, my business, which is honestly one of the most important things in my life, my brand, Dairy Boy, um, I don't always share a lot about what that has taken me to build that brand. I mean, there are a lot of influencers, a ton of influencers, and there are a ton of YouTubers, but, you know, starting a brand didn't just fall into my lap like it really didn't the brand that i built literally was my childhood best friend and i doing everything we were doing the marketing we were doing the production we were doing the sampling there was only two of us and we made a ton of mistakes and we felt the pain of not having specialized employees we had some amazing people help us along the way but you know making the transition to opening an office in la was a huge, huge step for me and my brand and my life. And 
with that change that needed to happen and I needed to hire more people. In order to scale my business out um, to the place that it needed to be, the place that um, it needed to be in order to get the quality and quantity of goods that I needed, I had to open an office and I had to hire a production manager, I had to hire a marketing manager, I have a designer now, I have someone helping me oversee my team. I have just a full team now for my brand and I've just been feeling like a lot of different emotions recently and most of them really, really positive. Just feeling a shift in my life. Obviously I had probably the biggest shift of my 20s when I moved to Connecticut um, and I entered like a really healthy relationship. That was obviously a very pivotal moment for me in my 20s you know that's kind of when everything sort of started shifting towards me living the life that i really wanted to live but yeah the office and then like my 26th birthday and just like all these things um and also on a completely different note i've been a little bit stressed honestly guys about tommy and i are as you guys know in florida now tommy's always been in florida for his training but i'm spending more time in florida now so i've been spending a lot of time in florida like i really consider this home now here and i still have my house in connecticut that is really like my sanctuary my little cottage in connecticut with my horses and it's just like where my family and my best friends are and i'm not gonna get rid of that house um i really love Connecticut but now with the office opening in LA I was kind of like feeling stressed I was like, like I'm sure a lot of you felt stressed for me like how is this girl going to be in Connecticut be in Florida travel on the tennis tour and be in LA and my last trip to LA like when I was just there right after the Australian Open I had this sort of moment of realization a lot of CEOs entrepreneurs business owners aren't always influencers, um, you know, so you don't really see their lives. And I kind of realized that it is quite normal for people to have to be bi-coastal for work. And I'm gonna have to kind of grind and travel a lot and fly out there a lot. And it's gonna be tiring sometimes, but that's what I need to do to build this brand to the place that I know it can be at. There are so many like amazing things that we're going to be changing in the brand launching with the brand you know capsule collections home goods there's so much and i absolutely love it and honestly it's just really important for me in my 20s in this time to put in the work and to be running around doing the traveling going to la going to connecticut going to florida traveling on the tennis tour and it's a lot and that's okay you know it's okay that it's a lot and i'm really just viewing la as like work um, you know, it's work. I, it's, it's not really social for me and you know, like I might meet up with some friends because I have friends out in LA and like go to some events but I'm really in the office all day when I'm there. So if I end up do getting like a small apartment in LA literally just to keep my stuff um, just for work, like I don't need to make it feel like, you know, another home, you know, like I already am in Florida and Connecticut. I just um, am feeling less stressed about that, the fact that like it's just work. It's just work and um, I want to put in the work now and then hopefully that will all pay off in a few years. But anyways, I've been ranting for like, I feel like 10 minutes now, but I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys and say hi and I hope that you enjoy this little vlog. I am in Florida for maybe a little less than a week and then I'm heading back to LA for a photo shoot that I have to go to and then I'm gonna go back to Connecticut finally. I have not been back to Connecticut in a minute so it'll be Florida vlog, California vlog, maybe I'll do a little photo shoot vlog. We're going to a really cool location so yeah, um, maybe I'll vlog that. And then back to Connecticut for home vlogs. I know that you guys miss those vlogs and I do too. Um, it is just really cold and miserable right now at home so I've been like really enjoying this whole Florida in the winter situation. Um, but I'm planning on spending more time in Connecticut in the spring, a little bit in the summer, and then the fall. But I love you guys, and I hope you enjoy this little birthday vlog.
morning vlog. My banging pots and pans over there. Oh. Anyways, good morning vlog. We are currently in the Bahamas for the weekend, which is such a treat. Literally a 30 minute flight from Florida. If you can't tell, my face is super swollen and I'm really, really tired. The jet lag has been really bad coming back from Australia. For me, I went to bed really early last night at like 8.30 and then I woke up at like 4 a.m. And then I fell back asleep at like 7. But anyways, we are here um, just for, got in last night for the whole day today and then leaving tomorrow night. So we're just gonna be relaxing and I think we're gonna start the day off at the beach and then we might go on a boat later and then I think Tommy wants to go fishing on Sunday. But I thought I would vlog for you guys. I've been vlogging a lot on my iPhone recently, which is funny. I either use my really, really high quality, huge Canon Rebel, which is super high def, or I use my iPhone because I haven't been loving my Canon G7X, which is what I'm filming on right now. And I don't really love the quality. I've broken so many of them and I just have a lot of issues with them. So I've been really loving my big camera and my drone and my iPhone. I feel like the iPhone captures shots that are I feel like more personal because it's much easier for me to just like grab my iPhone quickly on the go. It's not like a whole production. So I've actually really liked the contrast between the high quality B-roll and um, the iPhone. But I definitely feel like I need a higher quality 4K vlogging camera. So if you guys have any recommendations, if you're a camera person, let me know on vlogging cameras or cameras, you don't even have to be a vlogger, but cameras that you guys like or cameras that could replace my G7X. Two for yourself, I was like, yeah, you are crazy. <laughs> it's like a pirate. <laughs> We're pirates. That was really scary. <laughs> that hurt. Can I have one? Of course. You got the last one. Thank you. We're gonna go uh, meet one of my friends at his place and hopefully go out on the boat. Okay. 